Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unicorn Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back. If you're new here, guys, sit back, relax. Everything on this channel is nice and easy. This is a special video, which I'll get into in a second. For those who are regular here, guys, thank you very much. I feel the love. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you, guys. So what, what am I doing this week? What am I doing on this video? I was going to leave this video until I hit six or seven hundred subscribers. But I sit there thinking about it and it was just going away in my head. And I was thinking, well, look, you know, there could be some people out there that need this little bit of help, you know. So why, why wait until I hit that? Why not just do it now? You know, do it as a, a once a month video and... If people like it and it you know, gets a lot of views and stuff like that, then I'll try and do one every two weeks. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a let's build video. Okay. The reason that I, um, I felt about this, when I opened the Indominus box, I was like really intimidated. Like, oh, wow, that's a, as a, as a veteran, you know, gamer, war gamer and model maker and everything else, I was like, wow, that's, that's. Obviously, you know, I start with the easy bits first and get them out of the way, then you just work up to the bigger ones. But putting the, the bigger ones together, and Scorpec Destroyers, for example, I looked at the kits and I was like, wow, that's just, well, when I started putting it together, it's actually really easy. So I thought, what about if there's new people to the hobby, or if there's, you know, you're not new people, but they're, they're new to an army, they're, they're looking at an army and they want to put it together and, and start collecting that, but they're not sure because of, how intimidating the kits look. Don't be wrong, some of the kits really look really intimidating until you put them together. Um, for me at the moment, Void Dragon comes to mind. That looks really intimidating together. But again, you know, I, I guarantee it's probably really simple. So what I'm going to do with these videos is that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do pick one box or one, you know, packet of models. I'm going to one box or one, you know, bit of model and just film myself cleaning, grooming, and put it together. Okay. Now, in the, some people go, oh no, but in the event of like a unit of 10 guys or 20 guys, something like that, I'm not going to put all 20 together. What I'm going to do on the video is I'll put a command group together. So like if you've got a standard musician, champion, I'm talking fantasy or, you know, demons have that as well. I'll put those, the command group together and one extra model. Okay, so with the basic one extra model, that's the same how you put the rest of them together. Okay, but the command group is a little bit different because they have different species, but it's the same sort of principle. Now, in terms of like um, Space Marines, stuff like that, I just did a spot. In terms of single hero models, again, this is a one model. Now, at the moment, I've only got my pile of shame. So that that works in tandem with the painting videos where I'm painting the pile of shame. So I can actually put something together and show you. But if this video does, you know, take off, people like watch it a lot and comment on it and, you know, give it a a lot of thumbs up, then I'll probably start extending that and then you guys can tell me, look, can you do this one or can you do that one? So six months time, a year's time, you'll come and start a new army, you can go, oh, actually, did John put any of them together? Let me have a look. And then you can go through that, the playlist for this and go, oh, you did look. Okay, how easy is that to put together? How difficult it is and all this stuff like that. Yeah, just, just general stuff like that. So this week, I'm gonna go with something really simple and easy. I'll dust it down. <laughs> Nuglins. Well, let's get out of the light first. Nuglins. Okay. And I apologise the writing's backwards only because I need to turn the camera around so I can see what I'm, you know, I'm filming. When I'm doing a painting video, it's the other way around. It's hard to look at the bit nice. Unopened. Okay. I do actually have an open one in there, but I, this is the one I'm going to go. I'm going to go with this one. Now, these are that old. I've had them that long. Um, the sculpts are, aren't that old in terms of sculpt size, like, you know, sculpt, uh, sculpt age. But these were, when Fantasy was still, these were when these were just re released. £15.50 pence I paid for these. These are Chester's square bases. Get that, that light reflecting on it. And the round bases. Okay, I'm going to put them on the square bases. Two reasons. One, 
because in games before we played square and main base don't bother me okay because we used to have uh avatar of khan or kane the old ari you know guy with a bloody hand he used to be on a square base dreadnoughts used to be on a square base so they don't bother me but for me it's more so i can use them in a fantasy army with the old world coming back and you know, all that sort of business um and the round bases that come in this i'm going to need them from my special terminators i've got loads of terminators all on the small they all came on the small bases so i need to just try and scavenge as much of them as i can together and you know be able to do them so i'm gonna adjust the camera and everything else and hopefully we're gonna go for it um yeah see you in a second guys let's adjust this a little bit okay so i've opened them up okay you get fluff bases and the sprue right what tools do we need we need a scraper okay now if you've got the imperium magazine you'll might you'll have one that's just this piece the metal piece well maybe i think it has a little handle on it but i think it's don't think it's just like textures like this or i think it's just a bit of metal okay clippers most important part of this never try and pull them off the, the sprue without um plastic glue okay i also have some super glue when you're gluing models together we'll always have both okay just in case um you're putting something together and go oh let me add this to it which shouldn't be on it but it's lead and plastic underneath you know, or i'm talking about kit best now but also if it's actually fine cast you can just use super glue instead of plastic glue i'm using an experimental camera here guys not camera but experimental um bit of kit to hold the camera so it's really this is for the painting side of it all so as you can see look so when i'm painting that i can see that perfect angle okay and it's not so that's that's not the plans anyway um right so the first thing we're going to do whenever we look at a kit and this will be every single kit we look at not look at his bum <laughs> cheeky nurgling it's actually look at the spruce okay what do i mean by that we're looking at the spruce see if we can dry fit stuff by looking at it without actually you know taking everything off so look see how these are the these are flat that means they're going to be on the base so all of these that are flat are going to go on the base there's three nurgling bases in here okay so there's one two three four five there's six with the flat base on it which means that means there's two on each okay and by the looks of them they're actually all different each of these pieces is actually different okay let's get a wider view of that and you have a look and so you see they look all different which means hopefully you can mix and match them or you can just they go a certain way i don't think they go a certain way but then the next thing you look at on this kit okay these guys have got a flat base which means they go on natural base same as these guys but there's a gap on this one yeah yeah see it there so that means that maybe like these guys slot on the base behind them okay let's look on the other side see there's a couple of little see that little nooks in there so that means that they go in there somehow so the first thing i do i don't think the instructions will tell us anything will they oh they will oh they do okay so basically what i just said <laughs> okay the flat bases go on the base yeah and they all slide together no these, these are pretty straightforward but sometimes people look at them and get confused and you know and that's 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 why i'm doing this video to help you out is there a difference here look they're all crammed on anyway, if you are also a demon player or a cow space marine like death guard player or something and you're getting these for allies the the ones that are loose, like these guys, are actually brilliant to use on their models as well. So we moved it out of the way so I can see that, but it's not. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, okay, take the clippers. First thing we're going to do is we're going to clip one of these off. Okay. Now with the clippers, you'll see there's two sides to it. So you've got the cow moving in the background. You've got the flat side, 
and you've got the side that curves in. So when we're snipping them off like here, because we want the flat side, we're going to, we're going to leave the flat side of the clippers against the flat side of the model. Let's push it in, a little clip. Okay. Do not try and twist it off because you'll end up breaking them. Now, that's another little tip. You see his little head there, just by bringing the sprue goes onto him. If you can't get into that properly, snip it away here. Okay, because you can clean it up afterwards. But I can get in there, so I'm going to go in and get him. Again, look here, the same thing here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clip it above. So that's done, that's clipped off. But apart from this piece, you see it on his head? Because it's easier, I mean, I could have done it, but I just wanted to show you an example. It's easier to do it afterwards, so after it's off, so you've got a big sprue hanging around the place. Just push it in, snip. And then there's a little nubble sticking up. So I'm going to go in again to get another little nip. There we go. How easy is that? Now what you have to do is, I'm going to do it on this guy, and then I'm going to go in from the rest of them off, off camera. What you have to do is go around, and see like here, where are we? You see here, just here, where his arm comes down, there's a little mould line along his arm. So what you do is gently scrape along, okay? Again, just look along, because you've got to think, when they cast the model, they cast it like that. Okay, so there is going to be a little mould line here and there. And the newer sculpts don't really have that many. So you literally have to go around. This is the most annoying part of it all. There's nothing worse than having an amazingly painted model and then you look at it and there's a dirty sculpt, uh, you know, mould line along it. Look at his legs. The Nurglings used, didn't used to come like this. They used to be like a little bist packet of just single Nurglings, eight or nine. And you meant to put them all into one or two bases. But you know, you see in my children house video, I think my Nurgling bases have four Nurglings on each base because one, I wanted to beef them out more and have more of them. But two, because they only come with like four wounds anyway, three or four wounds. So it just makes sense to only have three or four models on there. So that one's done from what I can see. Just see this bit here. Yeah, let's be here. Let's try and get them as flat as possible. Because otherwise, when you put it on, if you're not flat when you put it on the base, it's going to be a little bit wobbly wobbly. I mean, they're dry when you glue it, but just they might sit on the base. But with their little nook, they might push them back a little bit or push them forward a little bit and look a bit weird. Look like they'll be toppling over each other. Right, so that's that one. So, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go off camera and clip the rest of these big ones out and clean them all down because it's the same thing I just showed you. Clean them all down and then I'll come back to you then and we glue them onto the base. Okay, guys, let's see you in a bit. Sorry for knocking the camera. I've uh, taken them all off, okay, as you can see, and glued them together. Well, I haven't glued them together yet, but one thing I've noticed, I was looking at the instruction book and I was trying to work out which one goes with which, but these guys. Let's have a look at the base here. Yeah? That's the front, that's the back. You see that there? That slots in. Okay. Simple as that. Now look at these guys. It slots in as well. And these guys, they slot in. Yeah, now I think they are interchangeable. Let me just try. One front, one back. Yep. They're all interchangeable. So you can just customize them any way you want. So what I'm going to do now. Some plastic glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run a bit of plastic glue along there. Put it on the base. Make sure they go together. And then I'm going to put them on the base. Now, when I do my bases. A bit more glue on actually. When I put my models on the bases, I always like to have a little bit of um, more space at the front just because then you can add more stuff. And by the looks of these, you have the other is at the front so they can, you know, just add more to it. So glue these guys together. A 
the last one. Now, as you can see, I have all three bases done. Now I could leave them like that, and that's you know they're perfectly fine. Or I'm going to take like 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 this guy. There's the little bit at the bottom there. There's a flat base, so I can take him and glue him on there as well. Now let's have a look at that diagram. You see like this one here. Now, well, they're saying it goes into the front and goes all go together together. And so I could actually glue that on there, or I could leave it. Now, what's, why would I leave it? Because if I can get my hands on another square base, okay, just another square base, I've got one, two, three, that I can put together with a couple of odd boys floating around the place, and I can actually make another base. Okay, so I'm I'm not going to do anything else on that. I'm going to leave them as they are. I've still got these nuggets floating around then, so as soon as I, I've, I've got loads of these bases around. As soon as I grab another one of them bases, I'm going to take these guys off, clean them, snip them off, clean them, and just glue them all to the base. But I'll probably glue them, I'm knocking that one off, I'll probably glue them here and there, just to give me a bit, another base of nuggets basically. And then I've still got all these weird ones, like this one here, yeah, still sitting there that I can actually just glue uh, to. Death Guard models, like to the base on, on top of a Death Guard or so, you know, something like that. Or if I'm doing Cow Space Marine Terminators, I can glue one of them on, on his, with a Michael Nogan, glue one of them on his, you know, back or something on his shoulder. So that's, that's how you do them. Very, very simple, very easy. Um, again, if anyone looked at the kit and then, oh, that's a bit, oh, that's a bit too much. Or looked at the kit, looked at the instructions and said, no, no, that's too much. Oof. That's how simple it is. It's easy as that. Now, so what I would do next, when that's dry, probably tomorrow, um, I would gravel the base, or put some PVA glue here on top, and then just run it into some gravel, and then leave it to dry, and then give it the black undercoat spray. Now, with these particular guys, I'm very keen to try some contrast paints. I've been watching a lot of uh, mediocre hobbies, and he does a lot of work with contrast paint, and then when that's dry, he then dry brushes it with, you know, no excuse me, normal colours and get some really amazing effects so i've got i'm going to be doing um a, a nurgle nurgle-esque giant and i want to try the color scheme out on these guys first so that's that's what the plan is so guys i'll see you in a second no, so guys as easy as that my aim with this is to do once a month like i said obviously if you guys like them and they really start taking off these videos get a lot of views and stuff like that and a lot of you know if you want me to do something try to comment on this video and let me know um if i have it in my power of shame then i'll you know it's nice and easy for me if not i'll try and get it in and go from there um but if you do ask for something and i haven't got it here it might take me a couple of weeks to, two to three to four weeks to get it in okay so don't, don't panic it will be done sorry again about the cows going crazy but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, turn on your notifications. Until next time, take it easy.